Hey everyone, I am Annika from Annika's DIY Life and today we are making a plant stand. But we are not using any wood because have you seen the price of lumber lately? We are using aluminum tubes. But before I lose you, we are not talking about welding. I am actually partnering with my friends at burns o to show you how you can braze aluminum really easily to build some fun structures. Aluminum brazing is super easy and I'm going to show you exactly how to do that. But here's what you need for that. You need the burns o 8250 HT hose torch. You need some brazing rods the burns o -Matic Map Pro Gas, and then a few other little things like a wire brush, a metal file, metal clamps, because you can't use plastic clamps near a flame. Uh, you need some acetone to clean your aluminum tubes, and you do need some heat resistant gloves. So let's get started. The first step is, of course, to make the cuts. I set up a stop block on my miter saw because there are 21 cuts at seven and a half inches. Aluminum is a really soft metal and can be cut with woodworking saws and blades. The key though is to go really slow as you make these cuts to keep the heat from building up. Also you can take little breaks in the middle to allow the blade to cool down. I do have the detailed cut list and schematics for you if you want to make your own and I will add a link to that in the description below. The first step is the prep which like any other project is one of the most important steps. I cleaned all the tubes using acetone to remove any dirt, oils or impurities because these can cause weak joints. Next, I used a metal file to chamfer the edges on all four sides of the tubes that were going to be brazed. This basically creates a channel for the filler material which then fills the joint by capillary effect. Next, I used a wire brush to clean the edges, cleaning up any oxidation. Okay, now let's get ready to set everything up for the brazing. I am building all the vertical dividers first. I do have only two clamps, so I can only do two joints at a time. I made sure that all the corners were square and then went ahead and clamped them. Only one end of the clamp is metal, so I turned it around such that the joint with the metal side was overhanging from the workbench by about 6 inches. To brace, I am using the burns o -Matic Map Pro Gas which gets much hotter than propane. And the BZ8250 torch simply screws onto it. It has a knob to open, close and control the gas flow and a trigger start plus a continuous flame lock button. It also comes with a holster which I think is a great feature because then the cylinder stays closed while you brace and the torch stays light on your hands. I started by heating the joint I wanted to brace. Now this does take a bit of patience because the joint needs to get really really hot such that the brazing rod melts when it comes in contact with the joint. Remember we are not melting the brazing rod with the flame. It's the hot metal that needs to melt the brazing rod for it to create a really strong joint. The tip of the blue flame is the hottest point of the flame and that's what I kept in contact with the joint. I kept testing the rod and when it was ready I moved the flame slightly away from the joint and applied the brazing rod. Then I quickly went to the next side. Since the joint is already hot the next three sides are pretty quick. Once both the joints were done, I waited for about 5-10 to 10 minutes for it to cool down before touching because the metal can be too hot even with the heat resistant clamps. The clamps are hot too, so be careful about that. I turned the clamps around and braced the joints on the other side. 
Like I said, it does take patience, but after you have braised a few of these joints, you get an idea of how long you need to heat it before the brazing metal starts to melt. Overall, it took me about 90 seconds to two minutes per joint. But since I only had two clamps, I had to wait for it to cool down and that is what makes it time consuming. And then I just repeated it again and again and again until I built all the four dividers. Then I went on to add the pieces that would connect the dividers to make the structure of the plant stand. There were a few joints where the brazing material was not even and was coming in the way so I filed those down with a metal file. While waiting for the metal to cool down, I just spend my time preparing the other pieces for brazing. Then it's basically rinse and repeat for all the joints. I liked using gravity as a clamp for these ones because I could braise more than two at a time. And finally, it started to come together and look like the plant stand I had envisioned. There can be a few drips of the brazing material which can actually be pretty sharp. So I went around and filed them down and cleaned them up the best I could with a metal file. And that's it. That is the plant stand. I cleaned it up with acetone again and gave it a few coats of glossy black spray paint. Then I added tube stoppers to the, all the legs and the open ends on the top. I added a few pieces of 1x8 boards to the bottom levels of the stand to keep smaller plant pots and added 8 inch pots to the top. And that is it. A beautiful place to display plants. Like I said, aluminum brazing opens up a whole new world of possibilities. Let me know what you think about the project and aluminum brazing in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching. And now here are a few more project ideas using burn somatic torches.